In the name of the Lord Jesus, the one God of all prophets that are holy and the one God of all holy apostles whom we thank and praise for his divine guidance, his perfect and infallible wisdom and understanding of all things. We thank him for the way of holiness. Most of all, we thank him for the way of truth that's clearly outlined in scriptures for our learning. God only have one church. God only have one people. God only has one standard. It's important that everybody understand this and realize this, that if God has one church, you better find out what church you're in and make sure it's the church that Jesus started on the day of Pentecost at Jerusalem where the word of God was preached. If you have more than one God, you better find out who them fellas are. <laughs> Otherwise than that, accept the God that we represent and Christ is he. If you have more than one way to get to God, please let me know what those ways are because this way that we've been following is very straight, very narrow, and it has no curves. There's not the slightest bend in this way that we've been traveling on. So if you found another way that's more easier than this, and it does get you to God, please write me the directions <laughs> Let me know what route to hit. And if I can get to God, I'm pretty sure I can get quite a bit to join on that way with me. Because, brother, this way of holiness is some tough stuff. But it's needful in a day like today. It is necessary because as we see, America and the rest of the world is certainly in the last days of chaos. Uh, California again is burning down and up towards Portland, Oregon, or rather Oregon and uh, the state of Washington. Everything is on fire. I've been telling the people for years, nobody owned anything. And what else does God have to do to prove to you you don't own nothing. I was watching the news and a man said, I'm 57 years old and it's the first time I've been homeless there in California. You can see the cars have melted, melted from the heat. And you bear in mind that heat is not even similar in the smallest way to the fire of hell. I was watching one broadcast of one journalist he was standing in front of a tree and me and my son was watching the news and I never saw nothing like it. The, the tree, the heat, the fire was so intense, it split the tree open. The outside of the tree was like charcoal, but the inside of the tree was still burning red like lava. That's how hot it was, but it still was not the heat of hell. So viewers, as you see what's taking place around the world, you ought to consider the message of holiness to be your way for escape. Not only to escape the wrath that is taking place, but the judgment that God is bringing upon the entire universe. And in the midst of your unbelief, you bear in mind, the judgment of God is still coming. Now, let me just make these announcements to all of our viewers, to all of you that was in the meeting of Fort Worth, Texas last uh, Saturday, I believe it was. To my viewers that haven't heard, I believe it was about 103, if I'm not mistaken, was baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ there in Fort Worth, Texas. Now, uh, to all of you that are watching in Texas, that's around the... I believe it's called Wimberley, Wimberley, Texas, which is located between Austin and San Antonio, Texas. 
and also you that's in the Corpus Crispi area. Uh, they will be holding baptism. The area is Blue Hole Regional Park Community Pavilion. Blue Hole Regional Park Community Pavilion, Saturday, October 10th, from 9 in the morning to 1 p.m. Now, if you come straggling in after 1 p.m., then that's all right. They know not to empty the pool. They still get you. But all of you that's in the Wimberley, Texas, and uh, that's between San Austin and San Antonio, Texas. Also, you that's in the Corpus Crispy area and all around there. Saturday, October 10th, beginning at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it will be extended if necessary. You come on the Blue Hole Regional Park, Community Pavilion. Repent of your sins. Repent now. We're making uh, provisions for you to get your sins washed away before God take you out this life. The truth of God is making provisions for you. I said over the air to my brothers that are carpenters there in Texas, I want them to build a fleet of uh, pools. I want a fleet that every temple have one that we can mount on the back of the trailers and they can go throughout their states and nearby and baptize you. We can pull up to the front of your house. You can come right out in your pajamas. Amen. So I send word out to my carpenters. I want a fleet of pools. We're going to make them larger than what we did there in Fort Worth, Texas. I told Minister Went, just let me know the, dim the uh, dimensions that they're doing. Let me know the cost so we can have the money sent and have our carpenters make one for each church location in the country. In the entire country. Amen. If that location don't have a trailer, we'll buy the trailer. We'll also buy the trailer if need be and put the pool on. That way if someone is handicapped and can't make it to the place, then we'll give you uh, door service. Amen. We'll have our own, our own service right, right to you. Amen. We bring our holy Uber company to you. <laughs> Amen. And uh, you can come right out, brother. Come right out in your pajamas. We baptize you in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And then you can go right back in your house, shower up, change, and come out and walk forever with the truth of God message. Amen. So that's what, that's what we have and the works now. We want to build a fleet of them. Baptismal pools per church. Amen. If I didn't love the soul of people, we wouldn't try to make it so convenient. Amen. God is dealing with the truth of God to rob you of every excuse. You won't have no excuse. None. Amen. I thank God for my brother, <coughs> Minister Santana in California. Minister Santana, been, he, he been having a portable pool. It's not as big as the one that the brothers have built in Texas, but we'll soon change that. The one thing I say about Santana, he go all over California and have drove to the state of Nevada with that pool baptizing loads of people in Nevada. Then from Nevada, he load that portable pole up, get that trailer, put it on the back of his truck, and go all down through Arizona, baptizing all of them, just making his way from place to place. Well, I want all the truth of God, churches of the Lord Jesus Christ to get ready now 
Get ready because we're going to make a fleet of poles. I want to give them door to door service. Amen. We got a good product on the market here. It's called repentance and it's free. You can get baptized, you can repent of your sins and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ free of charge. Free of charge. Amen. And if you want to hear some preaching, the uh, minister won't pull off right away. He'll give you a brief message. Amen. You, amen. Give you a brief message right there. That way you and your family, you and your second wife can come right out the front door <laughs> <laughs> and go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, then afterward, amen, she can pack her bags and go back to where she originally from. <laughs> amen. Glory to God. So you remember this now. October the 10th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And that time would be extended in Wimberley, Texas. So you, that's in Austin. That's between Austin and San Antonio, Texas. Corpus Christi also in all areas. In fact, even if you're in another state, because last week they even came from Louisiana to Texas. It wasn't just souls in Texas that got baptized. They came from Louisiana to Texas and went down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. So you, all other locations are welcome. You're welcome to come. And come and give your life right with God. Also, Orlando, in Orlando, Florida, the second Sunday of the month at 11 a.m., 4925 Clarendon, O.C. Road, Orlando, Florida, uh, there will be some services there. Uh, October 11th, October 8th, December 13th. These are the dates that set up for Orlando, Florida. So you get a chance to come on down to 4925 Clarington, Old City Road, Orlando, Florida at 11 a.m. That's the uh, second Sunday of the month. October 11th, November 8th, December 13th. Those are the dates that set aside. Tallahassee, Florida. Saturday, October 3rd at 12 p.m. Terrier State Park, 2576 Northwest. Terrier Park Road, Bristol, Florida. You got your chance to come down there for outdoor service and be baptized. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, all of you that's uh, repenting of your sins and being baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, you don't be baptized to go back in the false church you came from. That's like taking a good bath. I mean a good bath, not a commercial bath where you just rub soap on your naked flesh. That's not a good bath. Yes, yes fooling around with soap and water. A good bath, you get a rag. <laughs> when I came up, we didn't call it the washcloth. We call it rag. <laughs> and then, you know, many folks just say, uh, I need a washcloth. You need a rag. <laughs> Wash that old dirty flesh of yours. And them commercial showers that just advertise the soap that rub it on you, you ain't clean, you stinking thing. You need a good old rag <laughs> to rub up against the flesh. Amen. Amen. Uh, get all the uh, dead, dry cells off of you. Get the dirt off of you. That's why I got a tough gospel to rub up against your wickedness, to get all the wickedness out of you. So you that repent of your sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ, as I said, you don't get baptized to remain in falsehood. After you repent of your sins and you go down in the name of Jesus Christ, you got to strive to walk in a new life. That don't mean you won't make mistakes. That don't mean you're going to be up to everything that God commands you to do. No. 
but striving is implemented. Don't you, don't you come out that water, you better not step foot in a man-made religion again. Walk with the truth of God, walk with holiness from that day forward until Jesus comes. Who? Everybody. Now, I want to show you in the Bible the penalty for not walking with the truth. The penalty for not, for not loving the truth. The penalty for not believing the truth. You got to believe it, walk with it, follow it, and love it. You know, there's a penalty if you don't do these things. That's right. And that penalty won't come from the devil. That's right. That penalty will come from God. Amen. All right, let's go to work. God will give you a strong delusion is what comes to mind. In the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Oh, he's already ready. Amen. That's always good. All right. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and we'll start reading at the 10th verse. Follow me. And with all deceivableness Begin of, at verse 9, at, William. At verse 9. Yes. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 9. All right. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Yes. With all power and signs and lying wonders. Now, one thing I say about the devil, he's out. Yeah. He's out bold and strong. And the devil have a lot of representatives working for him. Until Jesus said many false prophets will come and shall deceive many. And I can say of the truth, they're here. Oh, yes. You can turn your radio on, you can turn uh, every form of media, social media, radio, television, satellite radio, short wave if they still got it. You'll find false messengers, oh, yes. frauds, that's right. who claim they represent God That's right. and they only represent the devil who represent their own interests. That's right. They care nothing about your soul, viewer. Yeah. They care nothing about your eternal life because if they cared about your eternal life, then they would give you the right information that prepare you for eternal life with the Lord. That's right. Now let us understand something. Everybody shall inherit eternal life. Let's just make that clear. Everybody shall inherit eternal life. But everybody shall not inherit eternal life with God. There are two places where you're going. No third place. Two. The Catholics invented the third option. <laughs> Purgatory. Amen. Well, I must admit, even I wish it was true. <laughs> not too good for heaven, not too bad for hell. Hmm. So I'm just all right. <laughs> God don't send me to hell and he don't want me in heaven, so he put me on a cloud and a lounge chair, just drank ice lemonade throughout eternity and played spirit basketball and Play spirit tennis. I mm. said, lie out of hell. It ain't going to happen. Mark chapter 16 and verse 16. This is what it is, viewers. There is no purgatory. That's None. Right. That's right. This is what it is. Mark 16 and verse 16. What is it? He that believeth and Look is baptized. Look how plain it is. He that believe and is baptized. Shall be saved. Then you'll be saved. But he that believeth not. He that don't believe it, what'll happen to him, William? Shall be damned. You know what that damn is? You're going to hell. That's right. That don't mean you're going to Florida. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. That don't mean you're going to the fire in California. No. Be damned mean loss. That's right. All right, let's go back to where we were. And I want everybody to get this. I want to itemize this and deal with scripture on this. Back in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 9. Listen. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Yes. With all power and signs and lying wonders. Yes. And with all deceivableness. With all deceivableness. Of unrighteousness. With in, that which is not right. In them that perish. In them that's perish. In them that's lost. Because they receive because not. Because they receive not. The love of the truth. Have you ever loved something? 
I mean, love it. Amen. You know, most people love to eat. That's sure, right. they love to eat. Some That's things right. they know they ain't got no business eat because they don't agree with them. Mm -hmm. But it tastes so good and looks so good, they grab that thing and just look at it and smile at it <laughs> and say, Lord have mercy. <laughs> and they down it anyway. And they know the after effects with some. True. Some are going to see spots. Some are going to get lightheaded. But they love that thing so much, they are lightheaded while they eating it. Just spinning and still eating it. That's right. Because in their mind, it takes so good, it's worth the trip. That's right. It's worth the journey. That's right. The book says, because, and with all the deceivableness with all of unrighteousness, the deceivableness of of, unrighteousness in them that perish, and them that are lost, because they receive because not the love of the they truth, they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Wait a minute. Hmm. You love the truth, so what will happen to you? That they might be saved. You love the truth, so what can happen to you? That they might be saved. All right. And for this cause. For this reason. God. God. Shall send them strong delusion. Now, you that don't love the truth. You that constantly fight the truth year in, year out, year in, year out. Don't love it. Speak against it. Blaspheme against it. Speak ill of it. God come along and say, all right, all right, all right. I done had enough of you. And for this cause. This is what I'm going to do to you. Now, I'm, this is one thing that God is not going to allow the devil to do. That's right. Hear this now. And I want you to understand it. That's right. This is one thing that God is not going to give the devil permission to do. That's right. This is a time that God himself is going to step up and do this thing to you himself. And for this cause, for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. God, God shall do what? Shall send them strong shall delusion. Shall send them a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. So you can believe the lie that you shout about, mm -hmm. go to church over, sing over, preach about, that they all might be damned. Wait a minute. He going to give you a strong delusion so you can believe your lies. So what can happen to you? That they all might be damned. So you can go to hell. Who believe not the truth. Who won't accept the truth. But had pleasure because in. Because you're too busy having fun. In unrighteousness. And what's not right. That's right. That's something, isn't it? That's right. Viewers, that's the penalty. That's right. That God That's is bringing, right. That's right. have brought, That's right. bringing right now, yeah. and will bring in the future. That's right. To all of them right. that don't love the truth. Because, this, listen, mm -hmm. this truth is hurting me, brother. It's hurting me. It hurts. But I love it. That's right. Huh? Oh, yes. That's right. Listen, it ain't no way I'm going to be coming back here every single week mm -hmm. preaching a hard gospel That's right. yeah That's when right. i came up you know we used to get we get ready for church getting ready to go to our false church when we were kids and i used to listen at the you know the the radio gospel station and every sunday morning a song used to come along this is saying uh there is a long dusty road ahead of me and brother it is it's it's a hard road the reason why I love this truth because my intelligence tells me God knows what's best for me than I know. Do you understand? Viewers, because you don't see God and you see us and you hear my big explosive God-given mouth, you get upset with me as if I wrote the Bible. As I keep saying, if God ever, glory to God, left it up to Pastor Jennings to write the Bible, <laughs> there would be no Bible for me to write. That's right. Not at all. That's right. Because the flesh 
don't want to do this. I, listen, I don't care if they got so much Holy Ghost until they glow. Every time the Spirit come on them, they just get bright as the sun for about five minutes <laughs> and then they light get dim. That don't matter. No. Nobody's flesh want to obey something that give them pain. For I know that in me that is in my flesh. Do you hear this? In Romans chapter 7 and verse 18. Listen that God moved on the apostle Paul. Now here this man was an apostle. That's right. And if he felt like this and you're not an apostle, I know you feel like this. That's right. And listen at this now. Romans 7 and verse 18. What is it? For I know that in me that is in I my know. flesh. That in me, I know in my flesh, in my body, dwelleth in no, this earthly tabernacle dwelleth no good thing. No good thing. For to will is present with me. Uh, to, to, to do wrong, is, that present is right there. But how to perform that which is good, how I find not. How to perform not. that which is good, I find not. I find not. For the good that I would, the good that I would, I do not. I, I, I don't do. But the evil which I would not. The evil. Amen. The evil. But the evil which I would not. That I do not. That I do. Mm. <laughs> Amen. You see that? And Amen. this was an apostle. That's right. Now, the will of God is evil. That's right. Evil, evil. to the flesh. That's right. Did you hear me? The will of God yeah. is evil to the flesh. Amen. The will of the flesh is evil to God. That's right. You know, I used to hear people testify, I thank the Lord for delivering me from a miserable life of sin. But I haven't met no one who was miserable sinning. <laughs> Amen. I mean, when you was out there sinning, were you happy? Happy. Very happy. When you was out there partying, weren't you happy? Wasn't you smiling and Amen. Happy and shaking. And, amen. That girl was shaking. She wasn't worried about her hairstyle. She shook her head and the curls fell out. Her <laughs> mouth all balled up. Eyes all stretched. Amen. And hands everywhere popping. And some that didn't know how to dance just stood in the corner with their liquor. Yeah. Doing something. Glory to God. Now, viewers and the human family, I want you to hear this. God is asking you to love, love the truth. His truth. That's right. Here. Here. God. God. He's not asking you to love Pastor Jenner's truth. No. No. No, no. He certainly ain't asking you to love William's truth. No way. No. No, no. Not at all. If he loved me. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Do you hear this? In the book of St. John, chapter 14 and verse 15. Jesus said. If ye love me. No, if you love us. If ye love me. Them. Me. They. Me. We only got one to love here. That's right. Jesus said. If ye love me. If you love me. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandment. He that if you love me, that's right. Keep my commandment. That's right. What else you have? Saint John fourteen and verse twenty one. Uh -huh. He that hath my commandments. He that hath my commandment and keepeth them and keep them. He it is that loveth me. Uh oh. Amen. He it is that loveth me. That loved me. Amen. Now viewers, bear in mind, God is asking you. Right. I want to take my time and hit your heart. That's right. God is asking you to love, love. his truth. Okay. Well, Pastor Jennings, how much? All love it. You can't love selective truths. No, no. You know, people have selective scriptures that they love. Okay. And the scriptures they love don't hurt them. Yeah. Like the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That don't hurt nobody. <laughs> selective truths. Daniel and the... Uh, lions then that don't hurt nobody right. Meshach, Shadrach Abednego oh the preacher he would preach that with his hands over his ears oh he would yell that all day why that don't hurt him That's right. but the moment uh, God says 
and, and love the truth. Love the truth. What, and what did he say? Uh, what did he say, sir? And with all the seemableness of unrighteousness. With all the seemableness of unrighteousness. In them that perish. And them that's going to hell. Because they receive not the love of the truth. All right, hold it right there. I want to build on what is truth. Truth. What thine word That's right. is truth. So now let me just point out some things that you have to love. Amen. Y'all want 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 12. Mm. Amen. I want to point out just different things that you got to love. You got to love it. I say you got to love it. I want Deuteronomy 6 and 4 after that. Yes. And then I want Isaiah 44, 6 and Isaiah 44, 8. Go ahead. And then man. I want Isaiah 44, 24. <laughs> and then right. I want Revelation 1, 8. Go ahead. Amen. I, I, I want, these are truths. Truth. I want 1 Peter chapter 3 begin at verse 1. Go ahead. I want 1 Peter chapter 4 begin at verse 1. Go ahead, I want Romans chapter 6. <laughs> I'm going to rain. Rain, boy. Make it rain. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Make it rain. That's right. With what? The truth of the truth. gospel. Amen. We're dealing with loving the truth. Loving the truth. Amen. And I'm just going to get whims to read uh, different scriptures that are true. That are true. And you got to love it. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. You got to love it. And if you don't love it, you know where you're going. That's right. Oh, yes. That's All right. right, you better first begin. First, first Timothy chapter first 2. First Timothy chapter 2. And at verse 12. Here's one of the truths you got to love. But I suffer not a woman to teach. What? But I suffer not a woman to teach. That's true. That's right. You got to love that. Amen. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor the use of authority over the man, but learn how. But to be in silence. So all woman preachers got to pack up your briefcase, take your pocketbook and your hymn book, and get out the pulpit or God going to give you a strong, strong delusion, delusion and God going to let you believe that he called you and that he sent you. He going to give you permission to believe that lie so you can go to hell. That's right. Huh? That's right. He told you what he going to do to you. Because they received not the love of the truth. Because they received not the love of the truth. That they might be saved. So they can be saved. And for this cause. That for this reason. God shall send them strong delusion. Now if that woman preacher hear the word of God. That suffer not a woman to teach. Mm -hmm. Nor the use of authority over the man. You keep fighting it. You keep fighting it. You keep fighting it. You keep fighting it. God going to get to a point. He's going to turn you over. Yeah and let you live and wallow and get in the pulpit because of your unbelief and your hate for the truth. You see, if you don't have the love for a thing, you have hate for that thing. That's right. And as a result of your long time hate, this truth gonna haunt you. That's right. And it says what? And for this cause, for that reason, God shall send them strong delusion. God going to make that woman bishop believe that she is sent. He going to let you believe it. Mm -hmm. He going to let that woman preacher believe, all right, you're an apostle. Yeah. He going to let that woman preacher believe that he sent them. You've been going around saying, I know what God said to me. God spoke to me. God said this to me. God said that. And God know he ain't said nothing that contradict his word. First, he going to warn you. Amen. In fact, he, that's one reason why he had me here as a warner. Thank God and, and, and have given Williams an ability to handle his divine scroll. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. That we may point you Hallelujah. to the book of truth. Hallelujah. Thank God and hold it right in your face that's right. and tell you, you got to love it. That's you right. got to love it. That's right. You got to love it. Now, if you refuse to love it mm -hmm. and you love your prancing around the pulpit and your cheap artificial licenses more than you love the truth this is what God gonna do to you and woman apostle woman bishop woman evangelist woman elder deaconess this is what God gonna do to you and for this cause God shall send them strong God gonna give you a strong delusion that they should believe a lie your delusion gonna make you think you're right that's right that you should believe what that they should believe a lie. When you up there saying you a woman preacher God and after God warn you, mm. you don't accept that long term warning, Amen. God is going to be like, all right, I'm going to give you a delusion. delusion. I'm going to let you go ahead and believe the lie that you so dedicated to, but there's a penalty for believing it. That they all might be damned. I'm going to let you believe it because I got to fill hell up. 
That's right. Huh? That's right. I got to have somebody to go to hell. That's right. Because a fire is kindled in my anger, and hell got to come about, and it ain't gonna come about in vain because I got to send somebody there. So, because of your unbelief and your hate for truth. He'll give you a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. So you can believe your lie. That they all might be damned. Then you will go to hell for what reason? Who believe not the truth. Who won't believe the truth. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. And when a woman get in the pulpit, that's an unrighteous act that she's happy about. That's right. Huh? That's right. So that truth that he read in 1 Timothy mm -hmm. chapter 2 and verse 12. But I suffer not a I woman to teach. I suffer not a woman to teach, nor the use of authority over the man, but to be in silence with all subjection. That's right. For Adam, All was first, for Adam was first formed. Then Eve. Then Eve. And Adam was not deceived. Adam was not deceived. But the woman being but the deceived, woman being deceived was in the transgression. Hell in the transgression. Well, that's one truth right there. That's right. You got to believe. That's right. All right. Now let's get the next truth in Deuteronomy. In Deuteronomy chapter 6 and at verse 4. All right. Hear, O Israel. Hear! Hear, O Israel. Wait a minute, Wayne. That, that first statement. Hear. 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 That lets you know God wants you to listen to something. That's right. And if nothing is not being said, why would you advise me to hear? That's right. God is talking, viewers. That's right. God is talking. Hear. Not, not God's no. G O D S. No. 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 One God is talking. Hear, O Israel. This is, a, this is another truth here. That's right. And I want to show you what's going to happen to you that's if right. you don't believe this truth. That's right. You see, everything that we get that's truth, I have to go right back to the penalty that God said he going to do to you that's if right. you don't accept this truth. Yes. All right. Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel. The Lord, our God. The Lord, our God. Is one Lord. Wait a minute. Amen. Is how many? Is one Lord. All right. Amen. If they don't accept that Israel's God, Amen. the God of holy prophets and the God of holy apostles, yes. the God of the truth of God, and that I may add, Amen. Pastor Jennings' God. I know that just made you so mad. <laughs> I know it did. But yes, I can include myself, <laughs> the right. God of Pastor Jennings. Go ahead, brother. You got the bow to right. Pastor Jennings' God. That's right. I know you don't like that. Right. I know you're angry. I know it touched the nerve. <laughs> but my God is the only true living God That's right. for the world. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hear, O Israel. Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Hear, O Israel. I want, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look, hallelujah. hallelujah. Take God. I want the world to hear this. That's right. I want to thunder it. And you know God gave me a mouth to thunder it with. That's right. Hear, O Israel. The Lord, our God. The Lord, our God. Is our God. Our God. Our God. Our God. Hallelujah. Go ahead, take God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. The Lord, the Lord, our God, our God. Glory to God, our God. Our God is one Lord. Is one. One Lord. Now, if you don't believe that, mm -hmm. if you don't believe that scripture, mm -hmm. what the Apostle Paul said. And for this cause, chapter and verse, back in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. Every truth, every yeah. truth <laughs> that every Williams truth. read, every truth. I'm going to go right back. To Thessalonians That's right. that will show you the penalty yes. of not accepting yes. and believing and loving. You know, when you love a thing, you will embrace it. You will accept it. That's if right. You don't embrace this truth. That's right. That you got to love it. You got to embrace it. You got to accept it, even if it contradict what your daddy told you. That's right. Even if it contradict and break up your marriage. Amen. Even if you lose a job over Amen. it. Even if you gotta walk out the pulpit and sell your church That's right. and give up your congregation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You gonna come back? Yeah. To this loving truth. That's right. All right, what you have with Back in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. Now, if you don't accept the truth mm -hmm. about this one God, mm -hmm. what is it? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. He gonna get, listen, any other God apart from one, you're delusional. <laughs> That's true. Eh? That's true. Am, am I right, Williams? Oh, yes, you are. Now, listen, I, now Williams can bear witness. Oh, yes. I keep referring to my brother, uh, the scribe. <laughs> Williams, the scribe, That's because right. he was delusional. I was delusional. Uh, three dimensional <laughs> delusional. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, oh, and when you got more than one God, now the Mormons, yeah. the so called Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, 
they are more delusional than Williams was. My Lord. Williams had three. Yeah. The Mormons have five. My Lord. India is more delusional than practically any place. India have over one million gods. My Lord. More than one million gods. Now, viewers, I want you to hear the old troublemaker because many of you got statues in your house that you pray to, and then you got others of you say, well, I'm relying on the spirit of my ancestors. Your ancestors is dead. <laughs> That's right. Did you hear me? That's right. I want this to be good for all you black folk, amen, and pan-Africans, and uh, you that are def define yourself as the conscious ones, and amen, I, our ancestor, the spirit of my ancestor, is leading me. Listen, there's only two spirits leading you. Give me the yeah. epistle of John. Mm -hmm. I want to tell the world what spirit to know. There's only two spirits. That's right. Yeah, here now. I say, I say, That's right. according to the word of God, you got to know the spirit of truth yeah. and the spirit of error. First John chapter 4 and at verse 6. Right. We are of God. What? We are of God. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that hear God. Heareth us. He that do what? He that knoweth God. He that know God. Heareth us. Hear us. He that is not of God. He that is not of God. Heareth not us. He won't hear this truth. Hereby. Hereby. Know we the spirit of truth. Know we the spirit of truth. And. And what's the second one? The spirit of error. The spirit of error. Amen. The spirit of truth is the spirit of God. That's right. The spirit of error is the spirit of that devil Amen. out of hell. That's right. So no, I'm not waiting to be led by the spirit of my ancestors. <laughs> not at all. No. This, my ancestors are dead. Some in a grave died with Christ. Some in a grave died without Christ. But uh, I don't need the spirit of my ancestor because the word of God tell me they that are led hey, by the spirit by of God. The spirit of of God. God. They are the sons of God. They are. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are. They are the sons of God. The sons of God. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm waiting on God's spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what's driving me. Hallelujah. Let it be the name of God. That's what's pushing me. Hallelujah. Not the spirit of my uncle. Hallelujah. The spirit Hallelujah. of my aunt. Hallelujah. The spirit of my grandfather That's right. and great grandfather. For as many. The spirit of the slaves that died. No. For as many as are led. Them that are led. By the spirit of God. By the spirit of God. They are. They are the sons of God. They are. They are. They are. They are. They are the sons of God. That should be God. Hallelujah. The sons of God. The sons of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come out and say, well, Pastor Genesis, why don't you rely? on the ancestors of Africa. What I gotta rely on them for? Hallelujah. Some of them believe in witch doctors. That's right. Eh? That's Some right. of them believe in trinkets. That's right. Bowling to statues. Hallelujah. Bowling to idols. Hallelujah. I don't want that spirit. Oh, oh hallelujah. No. I need the spirit that was in the prophets. That's right. That was in the apostles. Hallelujah. Eh? Hallelujah. And that spirit. That's right. Glory to God that is in the church now. That's it. So no, That's the Bible it. speaks plain. That's right. They that are led. For as many as are led by the Spirit many. of God. Glory to God. Amen. That are led. By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. They are. They are. The sons of God. I'd rather be one of the sons of God. That's it. They get caught up in my ancestors. I thank God for my ancestors, but many of them is on their way to hell like anybody else. That's right. Huh? That's right. And there are some of them that repented of their sins and were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. and was blessed to receive the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I thank God for them. Hallelujah. But there are many of my ancestors lost. Yes. Amen. So I'm not following. Amen. Uh, my ancestors are waiting for the spirit of my ancestors. <laughs> That's right. that devil out of hell. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. Amen. All right. So if you don't believe in this one God, mm -hmm. in this one God, give me Isaiah 44, 6, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. And Isaiah 44, 8. Amen. Amen. I want to keep 
bringing truth. truth. And, uh, and if you don't agree, not with Pastor Jennings, with this truth. That's it. Agree with this truth that Williams is reading That's from right. the scroll of truth. That's right. Then uh, it goes back to the punishment yes. that the God of heaven going to do to you. That's right. All right. Isaiah 44 and at verse 6. All right. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel. Wait a minute. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel. Israel's King. And his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first. We are. I am the first. You know, the Lord of hosts is Israel King. That's right. Someone said, but wait a minute, Pastor Jennings. Don't overlook what Williams read. Mm -hmm. He read and mm -hmm. his Redeemer. And his Redeemer. Are you that dumb? You think I was talking about another God? Amen. Because let me show you what you, if you say that's another God, look at the mess you make. Read that again, Williams. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel. All right, hold it. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. That's he's right. the one talking. That's right. And he's Israel's king. That's right. And his redeemer, the Lord of hosts. Now, that's another one. It says, and his, his redeemer. redeemer. So now you're going to tell me God got a redeemer? Hmm. Did you, did you see that, <laughs> fool? They didn't see that, Pastor. God got a redeemer? My Lord. No, Israel king is the same one. He is the redeemer. That's right. Because when God redeemed you, he bring you back to himself. That's right. Huh? Amen. That balance out with what Israel done, they backslid. Yes. And he redeemed them. He brought them back to him. Right. Glory to God by sending the prophets to warn them. And that's what God wants to do to you, viewer. Amen. God wants to redeem you. Oh, yes. God wants to bring you back. Thus saith the Lord, the God King of Israel. God wants to bring you back to him. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. The, the King of Israel. The King of Israel. And his Redeemer, the Lord of and hosts. And his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, means the Lord of all. I am the first. Glory to God. Amen. I am Alpha. And I am the last. I am Omega. And That's the same thing, you know. Amen. That's the same thing. That's right. I am the first. And I, I am, am the, the last. last. That's what Jesus said. That's right. I am Alpha yeah. and Omega. And there's only one Alpha. That's and there's only one Omega. Right. There's only one first. And there's only one last. That's what right. you mean I'm the first? That means before him there was nothing. Yeah. The true definition of first is God. Amen. Huh? What That's you mean? Right. I'm the first of everything. That's right. And I'm the only thing that was not created. Yes. All creation come from the first. That's right. Huh? I am the first. I am the original one. And I am the last. Or I say God, and I'm the last one. And beside me. Besides us. Beside me. Them. Me. They. Me. We. Me. This is truth he's reading, viewers. That's right. This is truth. That's right. Not, be not besides three persons in the Godhead. Beside me. Not besides Jesus being a second person in the Godhead right. and the Holy Ghost being the third person in the Godhead. Not that lie that you've been jumping around about because you got that trash from Europe. And beside me. Besides me. There is no God. What? And beside me, there is no God. Now, what will happen to those that don't believe that truth? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. If you don't believe besides him, there is no God. God going to let you continue in your delusion that there's three persons in a Godhead. And there's Jesus is the little God next to a big God. And the Holy Ghost is the gentleman God. Amen. He's a gentleman spirit that walks around in a tuxedo and a derby, speaking with a British accent and says, uh, may God bless you, everyone. <laughs> That's right. That's the devil out of hell. And for this cause, for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. You don't believe as one, God going to give you a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. That you should believe a lie. That they all might be damned. So you can go to hell. Who believe not the truth. That don't believe the truth that God brought. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. But you want to remain in your man-made religion, your man-made worship, your man-made order. Well, Pastor Jennings, I don't believe Jesus Christ is God. All right? Yeah. Give me Titus 2.13. 2, Amen. And That's after right. you read Titus 2.13, give me fifth chapter of first epistle of John yeah. and verse 20. verse 20. Next subject is Jesus Christ is God. That's right. Now, let's see, is it anywhere, anywhere, anywhere yeah. in the book of truth? Because if you don't have it according to this word, it is because there's no light in you. That's right. I got to read that yeah. for the benefit of them that are blind. Them that are blind. I said, That's right. if you don't have it according to this word, Amen. it is because there is no light. No light. Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 20. Isaiah 8 and 20 says. To the law. To the law. And to the testimony. And to the testimony. If they speak not. If they don't speak 
according to this word according to this word it is because there is no light in them Amen. Did you hear that, viewers? Amen. If your bishop, your apostle, your elder, your evangelist, your mama, your daddy, your husband, your wife, your son, your daughter, your employer. Yes. I don't care who you are. That goes for the Pope of Rome, Donald Trump, uh, Joseph Biden, everybody. If they speak I not. I don't care what position authority you have. Every king, every prince, every president that is and shall be. If they speak not. If you don't speak according. To this word. To this word. It is because there is, is because no light in them. There is no light in them. No meaning light. the knowledge of God. The wisdom of God. The function of God is not in you. That's right. All right. Let's go back to the subject now. Titus chapter Jesus 2. Jesus Christ being God. Amen. Let's see that the truth says that. Mm-hmm. All right. Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. Good chapter and verse again. Titus chapter 2, we're at verse 13. All right. Looking for that blessed hope. All right. First title. Amen. Looking for the blessed hope. First title, he's called blessed hope. Blessed hope. Uh -huh. And the glorious appearing of the great God. Second title, he's called not just God, he's called great God. Great God. Blessed hope mm -hmm. and great God. And our Savior. Now, third title the apostle mentioned is Savior. Savior. He's called blessed hope, the great God. Mm -hmm. And our Savior, Savior and read the truth who the Bible says he was. Jesus Christ. Amen. What? Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious blessed, appearing. Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing. Of the great God. Of the great God. And our Savior. And our Savior. Jesus Christ. So if you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the blessed hope. Yes. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is the great God. Yes. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is our Savior. Amen. If you don't believe that, and for this cause, if you don't believe that, amen. If you don't believe that truth that he read, amen. What happened? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. God gonna let you continue to be delusional to think Jesus is the second person in a Godhead. God gonna let you stay delusional that Jesus was a little God and God is the bigger God. God gonna let you be delusional Delusion. that Jesus was simply the mighty God and God is the almighty. That's like right. it's like it's two mighties. That's right. Huh? That's right. If you don't believe that Jesus Christ is God, like he read in Titus 2 13, 13. looking for and looking for that blessed hope. Look at the titles that the Bible give him. Looking for that blessed hope. Call him the blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God. Wait a minute. The glorious appearing. Appearing of the great God. And the Bible plainly says the Lord himself Hallelujah. shall descend That's right. from heaven Amen. with a shout, with the voice of an archangel. That's right. And the dead in Christ That's right. shall rise. rise. And who is that Lord? Looking for that blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great God. The glorious appearing of who? Of the great God. The glorious appearing of who? Of the great God. And what else is it? And our Savior. What's his name? Jesus Christ. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if there's any religion, any preacher, any apostle, any prophet, any evangelist, any pastor, any bishop, any elder, any deacon, even any flat-footed or pigeon-toed or bow-legged reverend that don't believe that. And for this cause, for this cause God shall send them strong delusion. That God, they God, 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 God going to send them what? Strong delusion. Oh. Strong. Someone said, Pastor Jenny, is it any Bible? Where God ever done that? Yeah, he done that before it was even written. Where, yeah. Pastor Jennings, what you think Pharaoh had? Glory right. to God. Right. Hey! Yeah. When God hardened, glory to God, the heart of Pharaoh, because Pharaoh was polytheistic. He was an idolater, and he would not accept Moses. God was God. So God hardened his heart. Thank God which linked Pharaoh's heart to his idolatry, right. amen. Gave him a strong, strong delusion strong. so he can believe those lies that his God was God. That way Moses, by the hand of God, can demonstrate the purpose of God and get his will over. Thank 
God down there in Egypt. And for this cause, for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. God gonna send it to your bishop. Amen. That's why your bishop keep fighting Jesus Christ as God when he hear the truth of God. Yeah. God gave him a delusion. delusion. That's why your bishop keep upholding women preachers. He's a delusional apostle. And, huh? and He's a delusional elder. And that delusion didn't come from the devil. No. God took matters in his own hand. And for this and cause, for this cause, God shall send them strong God. God. Don't tell me God won't fight God. for his church. That scripture showed me God is fighting for his church. That's right. Huh? God shall send them God strong delusion. Shall Hallelujah. send them strong delusion. That delusion gonna come from out of heaven. Look how good that God do it. And uh, there's another scripture, praise be unto God, that come to mind where God did that in the Old Testament. Yeah. There was a prophet named Micaiah and there was a king by the name of Ahab and another king named Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Thank God. And Ahab wanted to go take some territory called Ramoth Gilead. And he called about 400 false prophets together to impress Jehoshaphat. And he said, shall I go up and take Ramoth Gilead or shall I forbear? And all the false prophets, thank God. God said in one voice to Ahab, go on up and prosper. The Lord had given it to you. God gave all them false prophets a strong delusion. But thank God Ahab didn't know. He had no clue why all, why all those prophets was telling him to go up. But my God, Micaiah was put in the spirit Amen. and begin to give a testimony. And the Lord said, listen at this. In the book of First Kings chapter 22, we're at verse 20. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab? Look at Micaiah. Now give chapter and verse again, son. First Kings chapter 22, we'll start at verse 19. I'm working on God tricking you. Mm -hmm, mm. I'm working on God deceiving you. Go ahead. I'm working on God Go ahead. duking you. That's right. I'm working on God giving you permission to believe a lie. Believe a lie. First, he'll warn you mm. till you can come out that lie. But then he turn you over to your own belief because of your stubbornness That's right. and your lack of love for the truth. That's right. In the days of Micaiah, yeah. yes. his false prophets or the false prophets of Ahab mm. agree with Ahab. Yeah. Go take Ram off Gilead. Mm. But he didn't know why they was agreeing with him. That's right. But Micaiah was put in the spirit. First Kings chapter 22 and verse 19. He was put in the spirit. And look at what he said. And he said, hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, Ahab. I, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. Look at it. He was in the spirit. He said, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. I said, that's giving me the man that see the Lord. Th that's right. I saw what? I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. And he didn't see nobody else with him either. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. He didn't see nobody else with him. No. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. And what? And all the hosts of heaven standing by him on his throne. Oh, right wait a minute. All the hosts of heaven. Here's a man that saw all of heaven's hosts. All the hosts of heaven standing Amen, by viewers. him. Amen. Okay, I saw everything up there. <laughs> That's right. All the hosts of heaven. Standing by him on he his didn't say right he saw hand. some of it. All the hosts of heaven. All the hosts of heaven. But when it came to the Lord's, how many did he see? I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. You got to accept that truth. That's right. You got to accept that truth. That's right. And how much of heaven did he see? And all the hosts of heaven. He saw the, all the hosts of heaven. He didn't see a second God, a third God, a fourth God, or a fifth God. And he didn't see the spirit of your old dead ancestors. I saw the Lord. Sitting on his Pastor throne. Dennis, you talk about the ancestors. Where are they? In the grave. That's, right. That's where they are. You don't believe me? Go dig them up. Go mm -hmm. dig up the bones of your ancestors. You don't find none of them in the grave down there socializing, talking about their past, or crocheting, or knitting, or having a conversation at right. all. That's right. That's right. Come on, son. Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. This I want you to hear. I, I want saw you to hear God's word. That's right. God's word outweigh the words of your ancestors. That's right. God's word outweigh the word of black people. Go ahead. God's word outweigh the words of white people. That's right. God's word outweigh the words of everybody. You think because you white, your word is right? And you think because you black, your words make me step back? Not at all! <laughs> Hear thou therefore the word. I come to bring the word of the Lord. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. 
I don't have a white message. That's too weak. That's right. I don't have a black message. That's too weak. That's right. Glory to God, I have the message of God himself. That's right. That makes heaven move. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. And makes the earth bow. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hear thou therefore the word Hear of the thou Lord. therefore the word. Of the Lord. Of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne. Hallelujah. I, I saw, saw the, Lord the Lord sitting on his throne. Sitting on his throne. And all the host of heaven standing I by him. I saw all the host of heaven standing by him. On his right hand. Wait a minute. I saw, I saw what was on the right side. And on his left. And none of them were gods. That's right. Host of heaven. I saw the host of heaven standing on the on his right on hand. On his right hand. And on his left. Where were the other two gods? Amen. You gotta accept this truth. That's right. You can't even see to the third floor and you in the basement that's right and you up there with two and three gods your blind glass blind. wearing fool amen all right and the lord said who shall persuade ahab the lord said who shall persuade ahab who shall persuade ahab that he may go up and fall and tell us what pastor jennings who was the lord talking to who was the lord talking to pastor jennings don't 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 get in the hair eh? He's going to read who the Lord was talking to. That's right. All right. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab? Who's going to go persuade Ahab? That he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead. Well, he can go on up and die at Ramoth Gilead. And one said on this manner. One said on this manner. And another said on that manner. See, the one that said on this manner and the other said on that manner was a conversation among the hosts of heaven. And none of the hosts of heaven were gods. That's right. They were spirits. spirits. Uh -huh. And there came forth a spirit. Uh-oh. Amen. They came forth what? There came forth a spirit. One of the hosts. And stood before the Lord. They came forth a spirit. One of the hosts. That's right. Huh? That's the only thing up there. Spirits. That's right. So one of the spirits, one of the hosts, mm -hmm. heavenly hosts. And there came forth a spirit. They came forth a spirit. And stood before the Lord. And stood before the Lord. And said, I will persuade him. Lord, being that you want Ahab to fall. <laughs> Amen. I volunteer my services i will persuade him all right spirit you volunteer to persuade ahab mm -hmm. but just tell me how you gonna do it and the lord said unto him and the with. lord said to the spirit we're with how you gonna do it and he said i will go forth. and the spirit said i will go forth will go forth this is listen lord this is what i volunteer to be i will go forth i will go forth and i will be a lying spirit i will be a lying spirit in the mouth in of the mouth the prophets. of all ahab prophets hold it right there mm -hmm. i gotta dissect that and rip it to shreds mm -hmm. So I say, well, Pastor Jennings, I thought the Lord put the devil out and then no more, it ain't no liars up there. It ain't. It ain't. Well, the spirit say he'll be a lying spirit. Right. Right. But the spirit that said it was not a liar. I will be a lying spirit. He volunteered what kind of spirit he's willing to be to fulfill God's word. That's right. What you mean? I'm going to bring Ahab a delusion. A delusion. Yeah? That's right. And the delusion is I'm going to make him believe his prophets. But in order for his prophets to be on one accord, I'm going to be a lying spirit right. in all his, all prophets. his prophets. That way he'll believe all of them. That's right. And he will accept the delusion, the delusion to be truth. That's right. Huh? I will go for it. See how sweet it is. <laughs> Amen. He didn't. Now, someone said, well, the spirit was a liar. No, the spirit was not a liar. No. The spirit volunteered to be a lying I will spirit be a lying only spirit. in the mouths of, of, of uh, Ahab's prophets. prophets. That's right. That's all. That's right. And God said what? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his and prophets. And what did God say? And he said, thou shalt persuade him. Wait a minute. The Lord says what? Thou shalt persuade him. Go ahead, I agree to it. And prevail also. And you prevail. Go forth and do so. What? Go forth and do so. Go ahead and do oh, so. Thank God. Amen. You go forth and do so. You see how God even gave Beth the prophets of Ahab? Yeah. A strong, strong delusion. delusion. Even Ahab prophets believe what they were saying. That's now it. therefore, now therefore, behold the Lord. Who done it? The Lord. Wait, 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 wait. Who done it? Behold the Lord. 
Not the devil. The Lord. The Lord has put a lying spirit. The Lord put the Lord. a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets. He didn't say the Lord is a liar. The, the Lord has put a lying spirit. You see, the Lord wanted Ahab to die. That's right. And there was a discussion in heaven among spirits. That's right. It is written, one said on this matter. And another said on that matter. And manner. another said on that matter. And that it, discussion was among the spirits. That's right. So then one stepped up to the plate and volunteered his services to God. That's right. Told God. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying I, spirit. I'll be a lying spirit. In well, the why, mouth. Why, why would you be that? Because you know Ahab loved lies anyway. <laughs> That's Amen. Right. So it won't be hard to trick him. Amen. So God agreed for the spirit to be the spirit of delusion. Go forth and do so. And then God command that spirit, you go do it. And do so. And do it. Now therefore, behold, behold the, Lord the Lord has put a lying spirit. Has put a lying spirit. In the mouth of in all the these mouth thy prophets. Of all his prophets. And Isn't the, that wonderful? <laughs> wonderful, huh? wonderful. You see how you, you just can't get around the to save your life. That's right. Amen. All right, let's go back to where you were, son. Amen. Let's go back to where you were. Isaiah 44, yes. 6. Isaiah and then Isaiah 44, 8. And eight. Uh, I believe let's finish that up in Isaiah 44, 8. Isaiah 44 and at verse 8. Yes. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Fear ye not, nor be afraid. Then I, I, after you finish that, I need uh, first epistle of John, John 5, 20 that come 20. to mind. Yes. All right. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? That what? Ye are even my witnesses. Ye are my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Viewers. Hey, viewers. Are you Amen. delusional? Amen. Are you delusional? Amen. God is asking a question here. Is there a God beside me? I give you time. Hmm. I give you time to email me. Go ahead. <laughs> That's right. I give you time to put your thumbs down while you're watching this webcast and make your comments. Go That's ahead. That's right. That's right. Amen. You done? <laughs> Amen. You, you finished? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a little bit more time. Go ahead. <laughs> That's right. What did he say, William? Read is, the truth. Is there a God beside me? God talking. Is there a God beside me? Rule Pastor Jennings out. Amen. That's right. That's right. Rule Pastor Jennings out. Is there a God beside me? Is there a God besides us? Beside me. Them. Me. They. Me. We. Me. Amen. Is there a God besides me? Yea, there is no God. Now, wait a minute. And ain't nobody more intelligent than God. <laughs> That's right. And God often knows. He's at, he right. asked the question, mm -hmm. and now he's answering for himself. Yea, is there a God besides me? Yea, there is no Yea, God. there is no God. What do God know, Williams? I know not any. You know more than one, you know plenty. That's right. But God says. I know not any. You know more than one, you know plenty, you know many. Amen. But God says. I know not any. Now any time you're going to offer me more than one God and your little dumb, ignorant, hellish, colonel, lack of divine educated mind <laughs> because you got some PhD and some DD, some dumb dog degree. That's right. And you blind religious fools gonna tell me there's three up there? Amen. And God asks a plain question here. Is there a God beside me? Give chapter and verse, William. Isaiah 44 and at verse 8. I want the Bible scholar, them that love to have their nose in the Bible all the time. That's right. Snorking the ink of the pages. That's right. What is that? Is there a God beside me? Would you answer that? You Amen. that's so mad and got thumbs down on this truth now. Yeah. Answer the question. Is there a here? Answer the question. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. Apostle, Mr. Bishop, Mr. Elder, Evangelist, false prophet, half pint deacon, missionary, answer the question. Amen. Just answer the question. Let's come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to Bible. Come on back to the book of truth here. That's right. Huh? The Bible says, I will show thee that which is noted in the scriptures of truth. That's right. And, I, and the Bible says that. We'll get that later. Read yeah, it, son. Is there a God beside me? God is asking a question. Amen. Is there a God besides me? Would you please, Williams, mm -hmm. Williams, would you please, if you don't mind, tell all of society all what of society. God says? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. Wait a minute, Williams. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're very dignified. They're very proper. Let us tell society. Mm -hmm. Let us tell this educated society mm -hmm. that's on their way to hell. Yeah, there is no God. <laughs> I know not any. <laughs> hey, 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 you out there. Amen. Did you hear? 
William. Mm. Read it. Read it for society, would you please? Yeah. Yeah. There is no God. There is no God. I know not I, any. I know not any. Glory to God. Amen. Do you hear that? Amen. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Do you see what I'm talking? Hallelujah. In other words, it doesn't matter whether you sound proper That's or right. whether you sound all ghetto. That's right. There is no other God. That's right. But one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But one. There is no God beside me. Hallelujah. 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 One. Yeah, there is no God. Oh, it take God. I don't care how proper you are. That's right. Thank you. Listen, when them flames hit your proper hide, <laughs> I guarantee you won't be hollering like you're a member of society. <laughs> That's right. Oh, it take God. You're going to be screaming and hollering because of your fighting and rejecting this truth. This is a beautiful outline here. Oh, yeah. What's that God? Ask the question now. Is there a God beside me? Come on now, view. You that fight me for preaching, there's one God. Amen. And always talking about pathogenesis, monotheism. You can call me any type of ism you want. That's right. I hold one God. I yes. preach one God. All I need is one oh, God. And I take your other gods and beat them back to hell. That's right. From where they come from. That's right. How you like that? Amen. You bring your other gods. Go ahead, take God. We like David now. We got the word in our sling. Go ahead. And we got it wind up. Go ahead. And we come to the world. Go ahead. Go ahead, take God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Is what there, did he say? Is there a God beside me? God talking. Is there a God beside Thanks. me? Hallelujah. Thanks be unto God. Is there a God besides me? Yea, there is Yea, no God. There is no God. I know not any. You know many. Amen. Here's that we're going to believe. Viewers, viewers, I want you to hear the old troublemaker. Yeah. Anytime you got an apostle, a bishop, an elder, an evangelist, a pastor, a prophet, whatever they call themselves, a woman preacher, your husband, your daddy, some that study theology, and they tell you there's more than one God, when the one God made a clear question here. Is there a God beside me? Here's chapter and verse, William. Isaiah chapter 44 and at verse 8. All right, y'all, and the viewers, them that's trying to convince you there's more than one God, you just shoot them with Isaiah 44, 8. Do a drive-by and that's throw right. Isaiah 44, 8 on them. That's right. That's all you got to do. That's right. What is that? Is there a God besides me? Is there me? a God besides me? Yea, ye, there is ye, no God. There is no God. I know not any. If God say he don't know any, yeah. Pastor Jen is going to say he don't know any. That's if right. If God say he don't know any, yeah. Wim's going to say he don't know any. That's if right. If God say he don't know any, Dan the man stays here going to say he don't know any. Amen. If God say he don't know any, yeah. all the ministers going to say they don't know any. That's if right. If God say he don't know any, yeah. the world got the bow and say we don't know any. That's There's right. There's one God. That's right. We don't know any. Hallelujah. There's one. Hallelujah. God said God. Go ahead. Yeah, the whole world. Go ahead. You must know it. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Must. Hallelujah. Every Trinitarian church might as well padlock their doors. That's right. Now, if you don't believe that, mm -hmm. if you don't believe that truth he just read. And for this cause. For this cause. Back in 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 11. We're right back at this again. And for this if cause. If you don't believe what he read in Isaiah 44, if you don't believe it now, mm -hmm. this is where you're going to happen to you. And for this cause. For God, this reason. God shall send them strong delusion. God's going to give them a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. That they should believe a lie. That they all might be dead. That they all might be destroyed, sent into hell. Who believe not the truth. He's going to send you to hell because you don't believe the truth of his word. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. You have pleasure. You love bowing down to all these statues and images and moving bees around. Hail Mary, mother of God, and all that trash that come out of hell. That's right. All right, give me a first epistle of John 5, 20. First John Amen. I want to go back to the subject, the scripture of Jesus Christ being God, because there's many dumb, ignorant hellions us all over the internet and saying, Pastor Jennings is wrong for preaching Jesus Christ is God. And they said there's no way in the Bible that says he's God. Well, I want you to follow me. Follow. I want you to follow me, brother and sister hellion. Amen. I want you to follow me now. First this, John, this give chapter and verse. First John chapter 5 and at verse 20. Yes. And we know that the Son of God is come. We know that the Son of God is come. And hath given us an understanding uh -huh. that we may know him that is true. That, that we may know them. Him. Them. Him. Them. Him. Do you hear the Bible talking? That we may know him that is true. God wants you to know him. That is true. That is true. And we are in him. We are in him. That is true. That is true. Even in his son, Jesus Christ. Who the Bible say it is? This is the true God. No, he ain't. This is the true God. Oh, no, he ain't. He's the second one. This is the true God. Oh, no, he's the second one. This is the true God. And what else is it? An eternal life. 
But the Lord. You don't believe that? Amen. You don't believe? Oh, you don't? And for this you cause. You don't believe Jesus Christ is God? Oh, you don't? Amen. What, what's going to happen, William? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Brother John and Brother Emmanuel, bring that brown container right there. Real, move quick, brother. That big brown container right there. Move, read Williams. And for this cause. Lift it up. One of y'all get on one end, lift it up and bring it right here in the middle, right there in the front. Amen. Man, all right, come on. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Right there. That they should believe a lie. All right. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. All right, you don't believe that Jesus Christ is God? You Amen. don't? Amen. Then God gonna damn you. All right, let's work on the doctrine of baptism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Romans chapter 6, Glory verse 4. Glory to God. Amen. Let's work on the doctrine of baptism. That's right. Now, you out there that are Catholics, they move my little bowl out the middle. <laughs> well, this is what the Catholics have, mm -hmm. the sprinkling bowl. Yes. Now, you believe to bring your baby up here. Yeah. And there's a little container down in here that they lost <laughs> because I really want to show you this. Yeah. And the mother and father hold the baby, dig their hand in the water and say in the name of the father and of the son yeah. and of the Holy Ghost. Yes. This is what this is the lie you believe. This is the Catholic container. That's right. This is the baptismal container That's right. for the Catholics, yes. for the Presbyterians, for the Lutherans, and for the Episcopalians, Amen. and for the Protestants. Amen. This is their container. Do you have it? Come on real quick, brother. Come on. Amen. I want to show you this. Come on now. The come on now. Come on. My <laughs> God, he's at the first, he's at the second, he's at the third. <laughs> Finally. Now. This is what y'all have. Yeah. Who in here got a little baby? Who in here got a little child? I want to demonstrate this. Anybody here got a little child that you can carry? Anybody? Amen. Raise your hand. If not, come on up, bring, you, bring your child up if you don't mind. If you don't mind, bring, bring your child on up. <laughs> bring your little child on up. Come on, sister, bring your child on up and praise our God. I, 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 I'm, I'm, thank God for television. <laughs> All right, now, hey man, you can just come on right through there. Be careful. Be careful. Now hold the child in your arm like you cradling her. Yes, just like that and stand right here. I want to demonstrate. Now, viewers, this is the way they baptize in the Catholic Church, the priest, the priest, the, the priest, he dip his hand in there, uh, in, in the name of the Father. <laughs> Even she don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Even she don't want it. He go the second time. In the name of the Son. <laughs> in the name of the Holy Ghost. That's right, get it off of you, girl. <laughs> now, this is the way that the Catholics, the Protestants, the Episcopalian, the Lutherans, all baptized. Yes. They baptize, this is their container, and they have their mother and father and relatives all happy, and most times the baby have on all white and all that, and they say they're baptized. I Meaning if you watching right now, you've been baptized, or should I say, you've been wet. Yes. Like what I just demonstrated. Yes. All right, you can be seated, sister. Now. Watch your step. Let's demonstrate this with Bible, the Bible. and see are we to be sprinkled mm -hmm. or another way. In Romans chapter 6 and at verse 1. Parliament. What shall we say then? All right, viewers. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in shall sin we that continue grace in may sin abound? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer there, therein? What is it? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized Don't you know Jesus Christ? Don't that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ. Into Jesus Christ. We're baptized into his death. How must the baptism be performed? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. We are what? We are buried with him by baptism into death. We are what? We are buried with him by baptism into death. How can you be buried in here? Buried, buried, buried with him. 
Catholics, Protestants, Lutherans, Episcopalians. Amen. How can you be buried in here? Matthew chapter 3, we'll start at verse 13. The Bible says, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan. Then came Jesus to an upright bowl. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan. No, then came Jesus to Galilee to an upright bowl. Then cometh Jesus to Every Catholic. Amen. Every religion. Yes. To have this mm -hmm. for baptism. Amen. Throw it out. That's right. Or put some plants in it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh. Look, at some opening. Put some plants in it. That's right. That's right. This little, this bowl, oh. clean it. <laughs> Amen. I'll buy you a box of Captain Crunch. <laughs> That's right. Or some fruity pebbles. That's right. Or some lucky charms. Amen. They are magically delicious. <laughs> That's right. What did he say? Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan. Then come Jesus to Galilee to Jordan. Unto John. Unto John. To be baptized of to him. To be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. I have need thee. to be baptized of thee. And comest thou and to me? And you come to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, what? Suffer it to be so now. Suffer it to be so now, thus it become us to fulfill our righteousness. And Jesus, when he was baptized, when Jesus was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. Wait a minute. For you to come straightway out, you got to go in. That's right. That's right. For, you, for Jesus to come straightway out. Out. You have to go in. That's right. Nobody. Amen. Nobody. Amen. In the history of the Bible was sprinkled. Acts chapter 8 and at verse 38. Nobody, mm -hmm. viewers, you hard haired, stubborn European loyalists. <laughs> That's right. Nobody. That's right. We're going to take God in the history of the Bible. Amen. Was sprinkled at no time. Amen. That's why this message is different from anything else. Oh, yeah. What you have, son? Acts chapter 8 and at verse 38. Says what? And he commanded the chariot to stand still. He commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both. That's what I'm commanding, your chariot to stand still. Stop your Lincoln. That's right. Stop your Cadillac. Glory to God. That's right. Stop your Ferrari. Stop your Bentley. Stop your Rose. Amen. Stop your Jag. Mm. Stop your Chevy. Stop everything. And he commanded. Stop! That's right. That's right. I'm commanding the world. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And what? And they went down both into the water. No, they both went into a bowl. And they went down both High into in the, the water. How in the world can they clam cram into a bowl? Both <laughs> who? Both Philip. Both Philip. And the eunuch. And the eunuch. And he baptized him. Every priest, every soul. You know, one scripture says the priest was obedient to the faith. To the faith. The word of God says the priest right. was obedient. To the faith. Every priest out there. That's right. Everyone that was baptized by a bowl. And the word of God increased. Listen at this. Acts chapter 6 and at verse 7. The word of God increased. And the number of the disciples multiplied. And the multiplied number of the followers multiplied. In Jerusalem greatly. And what? And a great company of the and priests. And a great company of the priests. Were obedient. Was obedient. To the faith. To the faith. I told you so. That's right. And none of the priests. That's right. Baptized anybody. Amen. By a bowl. Amen. Man, you say that Peter is your first pope. That's what you said. That's what they said. You said that Peter is the first pope of the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. And nowhere in the Bible where your so-called pope no. took anybody no. to a bowl and mm -hmm. sprinkled over them and said in the name of the Father, no. in the name of the Son, mm -hmm. and the name of the Holy Ghost. No. So you parents, that's getting your baby now. You out somewhere at a Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> Amen. 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 Or you somewhere at Wawa, mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or, or should I say Walmart? Walmart. And then some of you are at Target, <laughs> and some of you that are probably say Target. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I don't care what you call it. Yeah. Amen. And buying your little white dress and little white three-piece suit, little white shoes, little white shirt, little white bow tie for your little son mm -hmm. or daughter to take them to a faith church to get an artificial baptism. That's right. You might as well listen. If you're going to get that child dressed up in white, yeah. amen. Wait till the child have an understanding of the word of God. That's right. Because God demands. That's right. God demands. In Acts 2 38 here. Yeah? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Then Peter the said unto them. The apostle of the Lord and Savior said to them, repent. No, join the church. Or oh, you believe you can join the church? Mm. You believe you can join the church and be saved? Amen. You believe you can bow your head and raise your hands and be saved? Mm -hmm. You believe that uh, sinner's prayer? Yeah. Amen. One of my uh, 
my sister-in-law husband called me the other day. He heard me preach about how Williams uh, uh, was going around telling folk when he was in falsehood to accept Christ as your personal savior, repeat a sentence prayer. Yeah. And how when me and Williams was at uh, years ago, before I started pastoring, we was outside of McDonald's and there was a gentleman that stopped us and gave us a flyer and, want, and I wanted to know that we know Christ. And I didn't act like I knew him because I knew where he was going and I wanted him to just drive a little. And the gentleman, I, I said, well, uh, tell me, well, who is this Christ? He said, the man told me in Williams, you can be saved right here. I said, that's right, that's right. Right here, McDonald's? That's right. He said, remember that, Williams? Yeah, I remember. He said, right here under these golden arches. That's right. <laughs> that's what he said. Do you remember that? Amen. Amen. He said, right here. Now, listen, this was almost 40 years ago. That's right. If, in fact, it was over 40 years ago. That make you sound old. <laughs> uh, I said, right here under these golden arches? He said, right here. Right That's here. Right. You, you two seem like two sincere men. Right here under these golden arches, y'all can be saved. Mm -hmm. So William said, well, 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 well. Hey, <laughs> tell me, how, how can we accept this salvation? Mm -hmm. You know, William was uh, a new convert. Yeah. He'd just been delivered from the farce that was standing in front of us. That's right. Hey, he was just delivered from it. Right. And the guy took out a pamphlet. So help, he took out a pamphlet. So mm -hmm. help me God. And said, repeat after me. Amen. So me and we are looking at each other. <laughs> and we repeated, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. it's coming to my heart, blah, 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 blah. And then he said, you're saved. Mm -hmm. Williams and I look at each other. <laughs> Williams said, I don't feel nothing. <laughs> I said, I don't feel nothing either. And I said, are you sure? Sure. It's not more than that? He said, brother, you're saved. Mm -hmm. I said, can I borrow your Bible? I gave it to Williams. That's right. He turned to Acts 2.38. Mm -hmm. I, I said, what about this scripture? About, yeah. Moment Williams read, then Peter said, I don't repent. He took that <laughs> Bible back and walked away. That's right. And we was following him down Broad Street. <laughs> what about repentance? <laughs> Hallelujah. That's what Jesus said should be preached. That's right. Jesus said that repentance and remission of sins and remission of sins should be preached in should his name. Should be preached in his, in his name, name among all nations. Then he said, preach it among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. at Jerusalem. So in Acts 2 38, the yeah. Bible says, repent and, and be, be baptized, baptized, every one of you, in the in name of Jesus the name Christ. Of Jesus Christ for, for the, what? For the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Oh, you don't believe that truth? Amen. You don't believe that truth for you? Amen. But you don't? You don't. Hey, if, yeah, if there's any apostle out there mm -hmm. and you're baptized Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. you're not an apostle of Jesus Christ. No. You are an apostle of the devil. That's right. Because all of God, true holy apostles, That's right. believe in what the apostle Peter said, That's right. who preached this message on the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven Amen. when he advised everybody to repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's you right. don't believe that. Mm -hmm. All of you that are baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, you're not baptized. Amen. You're not baptized. You're just wet. You're still a sinner. That's right. You don't believe that. That's right. You don't. And for this cause. You don't. Amen. Chapter and verse. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. What is it? And for this cause. For this reason. God shall send them strong delusion. God will give them a strong delusion. That they, delusion. Should, that they should believe a lie. That they will believe a lie. That they all might be damned. I'm warning you now so you don't believe that lie. That's but right. But you keep fighting it, keep rejecting it, then God gonna give you a strong delusion. He gonna let you live in the lie that you're so loyal to and so dedicated to that I'm laboring trying to get you out of before he turn your mind over. That's right. But he gonna let you stay there if you keep fighting for what reason? And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion uh -huh. that they should believe a lie. That you may believe a lie. That they all might be dead. That you all might go to hell. Who believe not the truth. Who don't believe the truth. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. But have pleasure and that which is not like the Bible. All right, my time is getting away from me. Give me the seventh chapter of the book of Romans. Amen. Amen. Begin at verse one. Mm -hmm. All right, I want this to be, and also Mark, first give me Mark chapter 10, yeah. begin at verse one. I want this, uh, I want to work on the truth about divorce and remarry real quick. Amen. I mean, I want to see if they're going to believe this truth here because Amen. there's many of you watching got your second wife, third wife, and second husband and third husband. And I know there's many of you right me say, well, Pastor Jenner, my husband, my first husband beat me bad. Bill beat me up and beat me bad. 
Now I got Fred, and Fred is a good man, Pastor Jennings. He's a good man. Amen. Fred, he's ready, Fred. Amen. Fred is a good man. Pastor Jennings, he gave me a bank account. I got my own car. I got a bigger house. I, 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 I can do everything that I can dream of doing with Fred Free. that I couldn't do with Bill. That's mm. right. You I did. know. Amen. But Fred is dead when it's <laughs> touching this scripture here. That's right. Now, I want to see are you justified having a second husband mm -hmm. or a second wife while your first husband and first wife is alive. Amen. Never mind what your pastor told you. Just turn your back on your pastor. I don't care if your pastor himself is the second husband. That's right. And he come to you and tell you, halala shot, halala shot, halala peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> Sister Jones, the Lord told me to tell you that I am your husband. And only for Sister said, Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. The Lord know my heart. The Lord know my heart. The Lord know my heart. <laughs> <That's> right. Know <laughs> my heart. All That's right, right, your heart. Amen. You better bring your heart right back to the Bible. That's right. All right, now let's see what the book of truth says. St. Mark. About marriage and divorce. Amen. All right. St. Mark chapter 10, we start at verse 1. Real quick. And he arose from thence and cometh into the coast of Judea by the farther side of Jordan. Yes. And the people resort unto him again, and as he was wont, he taught them again. Mm -hmm. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, is it lawful for a man to put a, a, away his wife? Is it lawful for what? Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Lawful for a man to get rid of his wife? Tempting him. Tempting Jesus. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command? What did Moses command? And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement and to put her away. Yes. And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart. Jesus, uh, Moses, listen, after they threw Moses at Jesus' face, now, and Jesus began to itemize the reason to the people that Moses let you do it. For the it was because of the hardness of your heart. Moses he was dealing with the carnal, fleshy people. And because they wanted flesh, Moses let you have it. That's right. He didn't say God let you have it. No. Moses let you have it. That's right. And For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. Yes. But from the beginning of the creation. From the beginning of the creation. God made them male and female. God, what you mean? It was not so. That's right. From the beginning of creation, God made male and female. For this cause shall a man leave father and, leave mother, father and mother and cleave to his wife. Cleave to his wife. And they twain shall be one flesh. Then what? So then they are no more twain but one flesh. But what? What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Yes. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same manner. All right. And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife. Look at Jesus. Whosoever shall put away his wife. And marry another. And marry, wait a minute, whoever get rid of his wife. And marry another. And get another one. Committeth a Adultery against her. Adultery against her. And if a woman shall put away her husband. If a woman put away her husband. And be married to another. And got another man. She committeth adultery. You don't believe that? Amen. Hey, viewer. Viewer. You, you don't believe what he just read? Amen. Give chapter and verse again. Uh, back in Mark chapter 10, verses 11 and 12. Give, read, read, read right at the point. And he saith unto them, Whosoever shall put what away. What verse is that? That's verse 11. Verse 11 says, Whosoever shall put away his wife. Hey, viewer. Hey, hey, Christian. You're a Christian, aren't you? Christian. You say you're a Christian, aren't you? Amen. Why don't you turn your Bible to this? Mark chapter 10 and verse 11. Why don't you turn your Bible to this? Amen. You just slammed your Bible closed, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you just slammed your Bible closed. Amen. And you're stomping around the house now, waving your hands. I don't believe that, Pastor Jenner. I don't listen. Pastor Jenner didn't write it. No. Called book, chapter, and verse. Mark chapter 10. What, verse what, what's the name of the book? St. Mark. No, St. Gino. St. Mark. St. Gino Jennings. St. Mark. Don't get mad at me because you're living in adultery. <laughs> That's right. Don't get mad at me. Your first wife is living. Your first husband is living. Why mm -hmm. you get upset because I preach against it? That's right. Wait a minute. What did you ask me? What? Oh, why your bishop don't do it? Amen. Because he's a child of hell. <laughs> That's right. That's why your preacher don't preach against it. That's right. He's a servant of hell. Amen. All preachers that condone divorce are servants of hell. Of hell. I didn't stutter. Did you hear me? <laughs> including you. Including you, preacher. Hey, That's preacher. Right. You. Right. You that got your cape on like you're Batman. <laughs> Amen. You that got your robe on like you one of the flying nuns. 
I don't care what you got on. That's right. You justify divorce in this period of time. Mm -hmm. You are child of hell. Amen. Now, if there's any preacher up in the pulpit with a second wife and your first wife is still living, get out the pulpit. Yeah. Get out the pulpit. Now, I know you say I'm not going to give her up. That's all right. That's if all you right. don't give her up, fine. If you don't give her up, yeah. what's going to happen? And he saith unto them, What's going to happen if you don't give her up? Back in uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 11. Says what? And for this cause, for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. All right, God will give you delusion. God will make you believe that he gave you that second woman, that first wife is living. That's right. God will give you delusion and make you believe he gave you that second husband. Yeah. And you know your husband is still living. Mm -hmm. God will give you delusion. He, he, you become delusion looking at all that stuff he gave you. Amen. Hey, you don't even come to your mind. You're so happy and so gay. And That's so right. So witty. Oh, yeah. and here's the holiday season coming around, too. That's right. The holiday strengthens the delusion. <laughs> That's Amen. Right. Oh, because right now I guarantee you that you and your second wife and you and your second husband, you got your children, the children that y'all already had from your previous marriage mm -hmm. and the children that y'all have together in this fake marriage. And you all getting together now, going to Walmart to buy little Halloween costumes to dress up the children like devils and demons while she go by, hey amen, getting ready for Thanksgiving. And while she go by and he go by in advance, the uh, presents for the pagan day, Christmas. You getting ready now? That's you right. getting ready now? I, I hear the Christmas carol already in your bosom. You walking <laughs> around now, just looking, looking for the Christmas turkey. That's right. La 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 la. You out there smelling the melons, tears. Hmm. <laughs> out there shopping for fruit cakes. That's right. You are children of Satan. Satan. If you don't accept the truth that he read, Amen. you are on your way to hell. Amen. If you build a church, put a bed in the church, move a kitchen, a kitchen in the church, yeah. live in the steeple of the church, right. and die there. That's right. You're going to be dropped in hell. And for this cause, for this cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Who going to do it? And God shall send them strong delusion. That what? That they should believe a lie. They don't believe in what Jesus said about mm -hmm. if you got a second husband or got another husband and another wife mm -hmm. while your first one living. You don't believe that? And hey, Bill. Hey, 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 Bill. Hey. <laughs> That's right. You don't believe that? That's right. You sitting up in bed now in your pajamas. Go ahead. Bro. She got on her nightgown and you got on your old drawers. Amen. You don't believe it? Don't believe it. You don't? Amen. Oh, you blowing smoke at the television. You are? Huh. Oh, she just yelled at you. Why you keep listening to that old crazy man? I don't believe that. Oh, you don't? Amen. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Oh, I take God, I take that scripture and hang it on creation. Amen. Nobody going to get around it. Oh. It's too wide. Too wide. Not going to go under it. It's too deep. Yeah. You're not going over it because it's too high. That's right. Lord, thank God you got to come right at it That's right. and accept it. Do you hear this? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. Any truth Amen. that Jesus instituted for the New Testament church to follow. Amen. I want to close out mm -hmm. with 1 Corinthians yes. 12, 28. God going to give them what? Strong delusion. That what? That they should believe a lie. That you believe the lie. That they all might be damned. That you will go to hell. Who believe not the truth. Who won't believe this truth. But had pleasure but in have unrighteousness. pleasure in unrighteousness. Have pleasure in your sins. In have sins. pleasure in your falsehood. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 28. Now this is how the church is set up. These are the offices in the church. Right. Jesus, who was God, manifested in the flesh. The flesh was not God. The flesh was the Son of God, and God was in that flesh. For the Bible says, to wit, God was in Christ. Jesus reconciled the world unto himself. And the purpose of God manifested himself in the flesh is to leave a pattern of good works, yeah. an example. So anyone that come after him Amen. know what to do and how to do it and why. That's right. Now, he said offices in the church. That's right. Christ is the head of the church. That's right. Now look at what he did. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 28. Here's another scripture, book from the book of truth. Mm -hmm. Tell me, do you believe this? Amen. Tell me, do you believe this, this viewer? Mm -hmm. All right. And God hath set some in the church. God hath. Hath. Spelled hath. H-A-T-H. 
God hath set Spell set. hath. Hath. H-A-T-H. You know what that means? Amen. When God hath done it, the apostle is confirming what That's God right. done. That's right. He is confirming. That's right. God hath said some in God the church. God said them in the church what? First apostles. You don't believe there's more apostles now? Mm -hmm. You don't? You don't. What else? Second what else? Second daily prophets. Oh, you don't believe in prophets now? Prophets. Oh, you don't? Amen. What else? Thirdly, teachers. No more teachers? Everybody dumb? Mm. What else? After that, miracles. Oh, you don't believe in miracles today? You don't? Then gifts of healings. You don't believe in divine healing today? You don't? Helps. You don't believe in helps today? Them preachers, they believe in help because they help themselves to your wallet every week. That's right. Uh -huh. Governments. Governments. Diversities of tongues. Diverse tongues. Are all apostles? All apostles. No. Are all prophets? No. Are all teachers? No. Are all workers of miracles? No. Have all the gifts of healing? No. Do all speak with tongues? Speaking in tongues is for believers because Jesus said these signs shall follow them that believe they shall speak in tongues. So therefore, if you're not a believer, you won't speak in a new tongue because you won't do what it takes to seek the speaking in tongue, which is the Holy Ghost, at the Spirit of God give utterance. If you don't believe those officers, right. It's in the church. That's right. If you don't believe it. And for this cause. Then this is for you. Back in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 11. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion. This message everybody got to obey. Amen. Everybody. Amen. Anybody, don't, anybody under the sun that don't believe it. If you don't believe it, I don't care how long you've been saved. I don't care nothing about your position, how big you are, how popular, or how rich. That's right. Hey, rich man, I don't care nothing about your riches. You wasn't born rich and you ain't dying rich. That's right. If you're so white until you blend in with a cloud, <laughs> you're like a cloud with eyes. Amen. If you're so black, someone think that the street is wearing pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. That's right. Hallelujah. That's black too, brother. That's black. Huh? Someone said, man, the street got up and walked. That's black. That's black. Mm -hmm. And for this cause, for this reason, God shall send them strong delusion. There's any truth that's in that book Amen. that you don't believe after God warns you over and over and over. That's right. For this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. God is going to give you a delusion. That they should believe a lie. He's going to allow you to believe the lies that you've been trying to fight for and stand for and die for like a fool. God is going to let you believe them. That they all might be damned. Just so you can be in hell with other unbelievers. Who believe not the truth. Who refuse to believe this truth. But had pleasure in unrighteousness. But instead of accepting the truth, you'd rather remain That's right. unrighteous, unrighteous, ungodly, and wicked. Amen. Now, viewers, Amen. you write me. Amen. No matter where you're from, leave your churches. All of you. That's right. Leave your churches. Don't you, husbands, don't you take your wife to that fake church and mother and father, don't you take your children to that fake church no more. Amen. Make the truth of God your church. That's right. It's the best thing you will ever run up on any form of media. That's right. If you look at these other preachers, they only want one thing. Amen. Your money. Amen. I want your soul. Amen. I want your soul. That's it. I want your soul so I can turn it over to God and beat the wickedness down that is within you so you can accept the word of God. Anybody here now Amen. want to be baptized in water? Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ today, I understand eight went down so far. Amen. Anybody else want to be baptized? Stand on your feet. Amen. That want to be baptized, stand on your feet. Amen. If not, thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Remember what the word of God says. And for Give this, chapter and verse. Back in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 10, 11, and 12. What is it? And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, uh -huh. because they receive not the love of the truth, that, what? that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. For this cause, God Amen. shall give them not just a delusion. Strong, strong, one. strong delusion. Strong one. Amen. With that second wife, you... Oh, ain't no, I don't care what nobody said. That's my wife. That's, what is it? Strong delusion. 
Pastor Dennis, I, you, why you mother so and so and you son? Uh, call me whatever you want. Amen. Call me what do you want, Miss Foul Thing? Yeah. What do I hear coming out of you? Strong delusion. Well, Pastor Dennis, I went to seminary school. I have a PhD or DD. I know calculus. I know chemistry. I know geometry. And as uh, far as I'm concerned, your words that you you want to be baptized? Hmm. What's that? Let me explain to you what the right hand of fellowship means, brother. Amen. Right hand of fellowship is not for everybody. No. Let me explain Delicious. from the Bible what it means. Amen. To my viewers, a brother stood up <coughs> and want the right hand of fellowship. This has become a custom in the churches, and preachers do this so you can, as they quote, become a member of the church. Yeah. Ah, uh, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, 1 chapter 12, First what puts you in the church. Amen. And then in the second chapter of the book of Galatia, it's going to itemize who gave the right hand of fellowship and who received the right hand of fellowship. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure you, like even I was taught coming up in the many apostolic churches, that the right hand, that you got to be fellowshiped into the church. Right. But you taught that also, brother? You got, uh, and that is not the truth. Let me itemize this with Bible to give you a better understanding from the book of truth. All right, first let's establish what put us in the church. First Corinthians chapter 12 and at verse 13. Get me. For by one spirit. By one spirit. Are we all baptized? We all baptized. Into one body. That's the thing that put us in the body. That's right. You had the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, brother? You baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? You're already in the body. In the you're body. already in the church. Yeah. Anybody can shake your hand, but you ain't never spoke in tongue. You're not in the body. That's right. Nobody's in the body yeah. until they put in the body by God. For and that is something I can't put you in and no preacher can put you in. It takes the Holy Ghost to put you in the church. Now let me explain the right hand of fellowship. Galatians chapter Who gave two. it? Who received it? That's right. Now these preachers have error and said the right hand of fellowship is, is for everybody. In fact, this is what the apostolics teach. You must repent of your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's true. You must receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. That's true. And then they add and say everybody must be fellowship into the church. It ain't a half a scripture that even says that. No. Not one. No. Now let me itemize this and break it down and put it together because the light is now brighter than it ever was. That's right. Uh -huh. Because believe me, brother, uh -huh, I used to do the same thing. Until God opened up my understanding, amen, uh, over 33 years ago. He opened my understanding to this. Now I want you to listen closely, and I want all of my viewers to listen closely. Mm -hmm. All right. Galatians chapter 2, we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem. Now you had the apostle Paul born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, set under the feet of a guy, Millie, who was a doctor of the law, who also was a Pharisee, meaning a believer in the spirit world and a believer in the resurrection. Paul was taught according to the perfect manner of the law, but he received his divine revelation from God. He was taught according to the perfect manner of the law from Gamaliel, yeah. who was a doctor of the law. But when it came to the revelation, Paul said, I did not receive it of man, neither was I taught it of man, but by the revelation. So Paul was an apostle. Yeah. God stopped this apostle after 14, 14 years, years after. of preaching. That's right. Because there were apostles out there before him. And God was not going to have his brothers, his church, separate. Yeah. Even though Peter, James, and John, who seemed to be pillars, meaning they were steadfast uh, in the truth, and had this before Paul, when they heard that Paul waked up, the apostles would not accept them. It was Barnabas that accepted them first. And then Barnabas began to convey to the other apostles that uh, Saul of Tarsus, uh, he's praying now. At the 14 years, now, here you have God stopping Brother Paul. Amen. Listen closely at this. Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas. I want you to pay attention. Amen. Who went up with Paul? I want everybody to pay attention. Who went up to Jerusalem with Paul? Then 14 years after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas. Wait a minute. I had Barnabas with me. And took Titus with me also. Titus was a Greek. Titus was a bishop, which is an elder. That's right. So the ones that went up with Paul was only two of them. Barnabas, Barnabas an apostle. Titus. Titus, who was a bishop. All right, read on. And I went up by revelation. It was revealed to Paul yeah. to go up. And communicated unto them that gospel which I preached. Wait, 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 wait. Amen. It was revealed to him to do what? And communicated unto them that gospel which I preached. The preacher's error. Amen. 
They said the revelation came to Paul to go up and get the right hand of fellowship. The Bible didn't say that. The Bible is clear. And I went up by revelation and communicated. He said he went him. up by revelation, meaning it was revealed to him to do what? And communicate. To communicate. He didn't, go, he didn't go up to get his hands shook. Right. There's nowhere that even indicated he knew he was going to get his hands shook. That's the right. revelation that came to him was, you got to go talk. That's right. You got to go talk to them that's in reputation that's because right. they had it before you did. Right. Amen. They walked with me in the flesh and you walking with me in the spirit. But now I can't have y'all separate. You, I got one to Jews. I got one to Gentiles. And I only got one nation, one people. And I got to bring you together to be one. That's right. All right. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach uh -huh. among the Gentiles. Communicate but, the gospel that preached among the Gentiles. But privately. But privately to them. Which were of reputation. Now, when it came time for his gospel to be evaluated, for his gospel to be examined, how was it done? Privately to the them which were of reputation. discussion between Peter, James, John, John. Barnabas, mm -hmm. Titus, five apostles, one bishop. That's right. Peter, James, John, Barnabas, Paul, That's right. one bishop, Titus. Yes. Listen and follow me. But privately to them which were of reputation. All right. Lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. If he will not obey their revelation. The running that he had done would have been in vain. The running he was doing would have been in vain. The running he was going to do would have been in vain. Uh -huh. but, but neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. Titus, who was with me, who was a Greek, meaning he was a Gentile. Mm -hmm. He was a Gentile. He wasn't compelled to be circumcised. And that because of false brethren unawares brought in. Yes. Who came in privately to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus. All right. That they might bring us into bondage. Listen good. To whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour. Yes. That the truth of the gospel might continue with you. Uh -huh. But of these who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it maketh no matter to me, God accepteth no man's person. What is it? But they who seem to be somewhat in conference. How did we talk? In conference. How did we talk? In conference. What happened? Added nothing to me. All right. The contrary was when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision. Listen closely. When they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision. That lets you know what they communicated about. The That's gospel. Right. That's right. That the gospel that of the, the uncircumcision. Gospel of the, um, when they saw the message I had to Gentiles. Was committed unto me. Was given to me. As the gospel of the just circumcision. Just as the gospel that was given that Peter brought to the Jews. Was unto Peter. Uh -huh. For he that wrought effectually in that Peter. That same spirit that worked in Peter. To the apostleship of the circumcision. That made him an apostle to the Jews. The same was that mighty, same in, me was mighty the in me to the Gentiles. And when James. Uh oh. Amen. Now I want you to listen good. Mm -hmm. Because this debunks what these men been saying. That's right. right hands of fellowship is for everybody. Right. Let us remember. Barnabas, Barnabas. and Titus, Titus. Went up with Paul. Remember that. That's right. Barnabas and, and, Titus and Titus went up with Paul. Amen. All that was in the conference was Peter, James, John, Barnabas, Paul, and Titus. Titus. Five apostles, mm -hmm. one bishop. Amen. All right. And when James, Cephas, and John, oh, what? who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. But who went up with Paul? Barnabas and took Titus with me also. Who received the right hands of fellowship? They gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. Who went up with Paul? And with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. Who received the right hands of fellowship? They gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship. The only one received it was Paul and Barnabas. Right. If it was for everybody, why didn't Titus give it? That's right. Right hands of fellowship is not for everybody. That's right. Amen. There is no Bible where the apostles took regular members. They didn't even take deacons no. and said, this is the way they've done it. You came from an apostolic church. This is the way they do in many apostolic churches. This is several ways they do it. Preacher said, anybody want to be fellowshipping to the church? Different ones come up. Let me make this example. Come on up, Douglas. Come on up, Meredith. Meridian. Doug, this is what they do. Two of you brothers, move this, please. I don't need this no more. Move this fraud out the way. Two <laughs> brothers, move this. Amen. Remember, it's watering. Don't you try to slip and sprinkle yourself either. <laughs> Come on. Come on, brother. Not you, brother. Just these two. Thank you. Come on, Doug. This is the way they do in many of the so-called apostolic churches. They ask who want the right hand, who want to be fellowshipping to the church. So here's a brother come up. 
you stand behind him, Brother Douglas. And then the bishop may ask, anybody want the right hand of fellowship? Brother come up. And he asks him, why do you want to be fellowship in the church? And they say, well, you got the truth. I want to make the first resurrection. I'm very sincere. I want to be right. Blase, blase, blase. The bishop said, as the power invested in me, I give you the right hand of fellowship, that you be faithful, and uh, that you be loyal, that when the Lord come, uh, you'll be accepted with him. Now, after he says something like that, he'll either do two things. One, he may say, all right, brothers, uh, Kev and these three brothers here, y'all stand up real quick. Come on, brother, you too now. Put your Bibles down. All of you come shake this brother's hand. Real quick now, stop moving so slow. Shake his hand and go back to your seat after you do it. Now you can sit down. No, wait, I ain't done with you yet. Wait, come on back. <laughs> now, that's one way they do it. This is another way the apostolic churches do it. They say, y'all brothers, stand back up again. Stand back up. And give me that line of sisters right there. All, this whole line of sisters like a low missionary board. All of y'all stand. This is another way to do it. Come on, all y'all, y'all sisters, come on. Come on. Come on. Y'all shake his hand too. Shake his hand. Shake his hand and go back to your seat. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome. This is the way they do it. Y'all, I don't need y'all no more. Now, this is the way they do it on both. Now, they either do it that way, you can sit down, Mark, or they do it another way. Another brother come up with the right hand of fellowship. Uh, I extend you the right hand of fellowship by the power invested in me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You almost think they're about to get married. <laughs> uh, that you be faithful, that you be dutiful when the Lord come for his church. Blase, blase, yakety, smackety, ya, ya, ya. All right, now, if he don't call all the brothers by themselves or the brothers and the sisters, this is what some of the others do. He have all the preachers. Uh, come on, uh, Williams, John, and... Uh, Frank, Shade, uh, Reds, come on, y'all come on and shake Doug your hand. This is the next thing, come on Parker. All, all the bishops supposed to be shaking the brother hand, either the preachers. You can be seated now. Now, them are the three ways they do it. They either get all the pulpit, or they just get the brothers by themselves, or they get the brothers and the sisters. Now, they didn't pay attention to the Bible. Right. Look who gave the right hands of fellowship in the Bible and look who accepted. Pay attention. Look who gave it and look who accepted. Read it again. Galatians chapter 2 and at verse 9. Uh -huh. And when James, Cephas, and John. James, Cephas is Peter. James, apostle. Mm -hmm. Peter, apostle. And John. John, apostle. Perceived to be, who seemed to be pillars. Yes. Perceived the grace that was given unto me. What happened? They gave to me. Wait a minute. They gave to me, they gave to Paul an apostle. And Barnabas. An apostle. Amen. The right hands of fellowship. You don't read where nobody in the Bible, nobody. outside of the apostleship, received the right hands of fellowship because it was given to show that they were in full agreement right. with Paul. It wasn't for the fellowship Paul in the church, for how could Paul be a true apostle if he wasn't in the church? Right. That's right. You can't be a true apostle right. unless you're in the church. Amen. The day you got in the church was the day you spoke in tongues. That's right. What's your name, brother? Brother Dupree. Oh, brother Dupree, glad to have you. That's the day you got in the church. Right. That day God came in you, the shaking of hands of no preacher can put you in. Yeah. Holy Ghost got to put you in. That's right. So when they said Paul was fellowshipped into the church, that contradicted the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians, they're baptized by one spirit one into spirit. one body. Paul was already in it. How you think he was so successful over 14 years? That's right. Preaching the word of God, just tearing down places that he took over almost all Asia. That's right. Knocked out the great goddess Diana until Demetrius and the silversmith craftsman cried out and said, Sirs, don't you know that by this craft we have our wealth? Moreover, you see it here, they're not alone in Ephesus, but almost what all Asia. This Paul had persuaded and turned away much people saying there be no gods. So all you apostolos that are watching, 
that says you got to receive the right hand of fellowship to be in the church, it ain't never, never, never been the teaching of the apostles that you got to get your hands shook to get in the church. The apostles taught you baptized by one, one spirit, spirit into one body. That's right. And the only ones that gave it was apostles and the only ones that received it was apostles. Imagine that, women giving the right hands of fellowship. Yeah. Deacons giving the right hands of fellowship. Amen. Elders giving the right hands of fellowship. There ain't no Bible. Amen. Come on back to Bible. That's right. Come on back to, oh, you don't believe that? You don't. You don't. You don't believe that? Second Thessalonians 2 and verse 11. Second Thessalonians 2 and 11. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion. I don't, I don't, I don't care what bishop do it. I'm coming back to Bible. That's right. That's why I'm pleading with you, begging you, come back Amen. to Bible. You don't want to come back to Bible? And for this hey, cause. Hey, 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 bishop, bishop, bishop. You say you're going to be the way you are? <laughs> you are? Then get ready to have a strong delusion. Strong delusion. A strong delusion. And for this cause, for God this shall cause send them God strong shall delusion. Send them a strong delusion. That they should believe a lie. That you will believe a lie. That they all might be damned who believe not the truth. If the right hands of fellowship put you in a church, think of this. Look how many churches you go to and get your hands shook. What you do, got in the church eight times? You go <laughs> to that church. In the church, you find out they're preaching a lie. Choo, gone. Go to that church. They got the truth. They got a lot. Go to another church. How many times can you get in the church? That's right. You're baptized by one, one spirit. spirit. One. One spirit. Into one body. Into one body. Yeah. That's right. Everybody got to come do it the Bible way. That's right. Or stay home. Amen. Stop burning out your shoe leather. Don't even get your shoes resold. Just <laughs> let them wear out and die and go to hell. May God keep you coning again, live again at five o'clock. Don't you go to your church ever again. Let us all stand. Mm. Brother Dupree, you're already welcome, brother. You're welcome to be here whenever you like. Thank God for you. Unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you false before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Only wise God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him be glory and power both now and forever. Brothers and sisters, say amen.